Are you ready for a truly decadent afternoon tea week? It will be a lovely, leisurely week of afternoon tea, sandwiches, pastries. Let's get out our beautiful, fine bone china, our beautiful dresses. And my delightful, elegant friend, let's have an incredible week together. Welcome back to Etiquette UK. I am delighted to have you joining me today. Etiquette UK is here for you. And if you're looking to find me and when I'm not here, please try me on Instagram. Leave me a DM if you need to. I look forward to that. I'd like to remind you that Etiquette UK is not about being perfect. I'll repeat that, not about being perfect. I am utterly delighted and excited to be sharing something very special with you. The art of enjoying afternoon tea. Queen Victoria received an invitation from the Duchess of Bedford. An example of the type of invitation that the Duchess would have sent Queen Victoria. At my home on Wednesday the 15th, I would be honoured if you would join me for a light meal and some conversation. I know you're a very busy woman, so I understand if you're unable to attend. However, I would be grateful if you could consider my invitation. I very much look forward to hearing from you soon. Yours respectfully, the Duchess of Bedford. Queen Victoria and the Duchess of Bedford were close friends and they would have talked about a variety of topics over afternoon tea. Some of the topics they might have discussed would have included current affairs. Queen Victoria was very interested in current affairs and would have been keen to hear the Duchess' view on the latest news. They would have discussed fashion. The Duchess was a trendsetter and Queen Victoria would have been interested in hearing about the latest fashion. family would also have been a topic of discussion. Both women were mothers and they would have talked about their children. This would not have been of the negative parts of family life but the upbuilding, celebrating of life and achievements. Wholesome family conversation. Social events. Queen Victoria and the Duchess would have attended many of the same social events and they would have talked about their experiences. Literature. Both women were avid readers and they would have discussed their favourite books and artists. Art. The Duchess was a patron of the arts and she would have talked to Queen Victoria about her favourite paintings and sculptures.
travel. Queen Victoria was a great traveller. She would have talked about her many adventures to the Duchess. Personal matters. Once again, this would have been in a building and uplifting conversation. As close friends, it would have been appropriate for Queen Victoria and the Duchess to talk about their personal life. This would include their hopes, their dreams, and also their fears. I'm sure you agree these are excellent topics for us to discuss today that are uplifting, upbuilding and elegant communication that we can have with our friends, our family. If you're looking for topics of polite communication then I will leave a link below in the description box and above. I will also leave a link for many topics for you to be discussing on your social events and it's free for you to download. How to make a classic cup of British tea. You can choose from breakfast tea or Earl Grey. And for the purpose of this video, we're going to choose Earl Grey. The exact year that Earl Grey was established is unknown. However, it is believed to have been created in the early 1800s. There are several stories about the tea and how it was created, but the most likely one is that it was a gift from a Chinese Mandarin to Charles Grey II, Earl Grey and Prime Minister of the United Kingdom from 1830 to 1834. The Mandarin gave Grey the tea as a thank you for saving his son's life. Earl was actually, Earl title was added to the tea to make it more appealing and to elevate it for high society. It gave it a more posh name and it was renowned for being served at afternoon tea because of its refreshing citrusy flavour. Regardless of its origin, Earl Grey has become one of the most popular teas around the world and it's known for its unique flavour and blend of black tea and bergamot oil. To elevate your tea, use filtered or bottled water for the best flavour. If you're using loose tea, rinse the leaves with hot water before brewing to remove the dust, any dust. Don't overbrew the tea as this will make it bitter. Eat your water. The ideal temperature for brewing black tea is 195 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Add the tea to the hot water and allow the tea to brew for three to five minutes depending on the strength you prefer. Remove the tea or bag and then add milk 
and sugar to taste or add a splash of lemon or orange juice to make a very refreshing cup of Earl Grey tea. If you celebrated afternoon tea week, I'd love you to comment down below where you enjoyed your afternoon tea, who you enjoyed it with. Afternoon tea is an quaint essential British tradition and as you know it dates back to the 1800s. It's a, a tradition that is usually served between 4 and 6 p.m. and it consists of beautiful delicate sandwich, finger sandwiches, scones with cottage cheese and jam and cakes, dainty cakes and beautiful pastries. Afternoon Tea Week isn't the time for serving your full size pastries or large slices of cake. This is an elegant experience and a time for you to really indulge in your femininity and immerse yourself in the experience of this beautiful occasion of afternoon tea. So it's dainty pastry, dainty sandwich, finger sandwiches that you can eat in an elegant way and just feel the moment of relaxation, of beautiful conversation, elegant surroundings and beautiful people to spend time with at this very special week and when I use the word beautiful people I'm referring to beautiful on the inside gentle kind souls afternoon tea week was set up in the United Kingdom by the National Association of Care catering in 2016 the aim of the week is to celebrate the tradition of afternoon tea and to raise awareness of the importance of good food and drink in care settings. And we know how important that is, even more so now after what we've been through and the losses that we've experienced from our loved ones who were in care settings. The National Association of Care Catering believes that afternoon tea can play a huge, important role in the lives of people in care settings and it can provide a sense of occasion and a break from the routine and it can also be a way of socializing and connecting with their loved ones. So do go and visit your great aunt, your grandmother's special people in your life that you don't get a chance to see on a day-to-day -day basis. So during this week across the UK there will be special events encouraging people to enjoy afternoon tea and it's a way to have competitions and to fundraise to raise money for this incredible charity. So afternoon tea week takes place between the 7th and the 13th of August in the United Kingdom and venues throughout will participate and open their doors to everyone to enjoy afternoon tea. So as I said before, please leave your comments down below. I'd love to know what you did in this time period and please make time to visit your beautiful grandparents and elderly family members because this is a time that they remember that they enjoyed the elegance of afternoon tea. If you enjoy the elegance of afternoon tea at the Ritz in every detail from the moment you step into the palm court you are transported to a world of luxury and refinement the high ceilings the crystal chandeliers the gilded mirrors a sense of grandeur the white tablecloths the fresh flowers a touch of elegance the food the service the Impressive finger sandwiches are made with the finest ingredients and, and presented 
beautifully and the scones are warm and flaky and just the round amount of cotton cream and jam the cakes and pastries are also extremely delicious and there are a seasonal change depending on when you visit the service is impeccable the staff are attentive and discreet and they are always happy to fulfill the occasion that you are joining there's a pianist with classical music in the background it creates a truly relaxing enjoyable atmosphere now not everyone can get to the Ritz maybe because of the cost maybe the there isn't a slot for you when you want to visit I have found the next best thing I was had I had the pleasure of visiting the most incredible setting and as it happens it's where the original afternoon tea took place with the Duchess of Bedford so it has all the history the cakes and the sandwiches are refined and delicate and look out of the window and see the beautiful Leicestershire country views the crown was actually filmed there some of the scenes in the crown was filled at Beaver Castle is truly luxurious and an elegant affair. It is the perfect place to celebrate a special occasion or simply just indulge yourself, which is what I did. The Avery Tea Room is the setting for afternoon tea and it's a beautiful room with high ceilings, chandeliers, a large window that offers, which I enjoyed, stunning views over onto the beautiful Leicestershire countryside. The tables are set with fine china and linen and the food is presented beautifully. Even more exciting news about the visitors to Beaver Castle. In December 1843, just a few months after her accession to the throne, Queen Victoria visited Beaver Castle. She was accompanied by Prince Albert, the Duke of Wellington, the Prime Minister, Sir John Peel, and the Archbishop Bishop of Canterbury. The visit was to attend the christening of the Duke of Rutland's oldest son, the future sixth Duke of Rutland. The Queen and her entourage arrived at Beaver Castle by train and they were met by a large crowd of well-wishers. How exciting! And apparently at, during their stay they enjoyed a variety of activities which included hunting, shooting, riding. They were also visited the castle gardens and took a tour of, of the surrounding countryside. The Queen's visit to Beaver Castle was a great success. She was so impressed by the castle's beauty and the hospitality and that she enjoyed her time with the Duke and Duchess of Rutland. The visit helped to strengthen the relationship between the royal family and the manor, fa manor's family who have owned Beaver Castle for over 500 years. <laughs>